Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 17th uh, Create Base Community Call. Uh, crazy that it's been that many community calls already. Um, but as you can see, this community call is starting off already a bit different than most. Um, it's a holiday in Portugal, so the team is off. Um, we skipped both of our AMA sessions this week. Um, the first AMA session was skipped because we had uh, South Pole and Vildiverse events going on in the Metaverse, and so Lenara uh, and Monica were running around in the Metaverse and the real world all over, uh, making sure everyone was able to get there. Um, and so today, I and even today, Lenara is a bit sick, and so hopefully she gets well soon. Uh, but my name is Chloe Lewis. I am one of the facilitators, uh, so co-facilitator of the Create Base Guild, and I will be leading uh, today's community call. So uh, if you pop in, and so I see Bruce, you're here with us. Um, so, so feel free to ask questions, feel free to hop on stage. These calls are recorded. Um, and so whoever misses the calls, we do so share them out to our community. Uh, I'll try and be brief with what I've got to say. I'll give a quick overview of how Mintbase is doing over the past few weeks. Things have been really busy, um, as obviously. Um, and then I'll kind of, you know, give the floor to whoever would like to speak as time goes on. If people pop in, I know Deduku as well was saying that he was going to pop in a bit later. Um, and then we'll just, you know, see how that goes for the call. Um, but let's just get started. Um, so this is how Mintbase has been going so far after a few weeks of launch. Uh, 252 stores. I keep this page open 24-7, uh, constantly uh, checking to see who is creating new stores. And there's actually, you can do mintbase.io uh, slash stores and see all of them, which is pretty cool. So if you actually do that, you can see everyone's stores that they've created. So these are the last two stores that created and someone already minted an NFT of their cat. So Pretty, pretty cool information to get, I suppose. Um, but already almost 5,000 near earned, pretty cool. Um, 12,300 tokens minted, 400 minters plus, and over 9,000 tokens listed on the marketplace. Uh, Nate put in this live auctions area now, which is pretty cool. Uh, and now there's little share buttons. And it's really cool seeing all this stuff happen live. So now you can kind of you know share this on Pinterest, uh, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, whatever else, uh, Facebook, um, and you can see all of stores. Also, um, it's pretty cool. You can kind of learn more now about what's going on. You dig into the API, dig into the code, uh, and learn more about the community where you'd find CreateBase, uh, which, you know, full circle back to uh, the CreateBase skill we're in today. Um, so as we pop into the marketplace, um, you'll be able to see it's gotten upgraded a bit as well. Uh, there's these hammers. So if you see um, a little hammer beside it, it means buy now. Uh, for now, that this could always change. But for at the moment, that means buy now. And if you don't see a hammer, uh, that means it's an auction. So this number you see around here will indicate the like uh, indicated price. But like if we click into, ooh, that's actually a pretty cool NFT. <laughs> I didn't know it was moving. Um, so I'm gonna like this one. So I'm logged under, under marmaday.near, so I'm gonna log in here. Um, and so you can see there's offers, it's not buy now. Um, I think it was a 10 year uh, was you should offer. Uh, uh, and there's no offers yet. So if I wanted to make an offer, since we didn't get the AMAs and since anything else, let's just go for it. Um, I can make an offer here. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I can say 1.19. Um, and I have my ledger that I'm doing it with. So what it would look like is it would redirect me to the wallet. And I have to be logged into my ledger, of course. Um, I will click allow on my ledger to authorize. And then it will say, hey, do you want to make an offer? And I'll say approve. Um, and as this happens, this will indicate to the owner that they have an offer on their offers page. So I'll show what that looks like. I don't have any offers on my page, but it'll show, okay, 1.1 and offered. Uh, if they pull and they accept that offer, they'll pull out 1.19 near, and it'll show up here as pulled. So if you see my open orders, um, you can see 
my offers that expired. So I actually offered 1.1 near. Oh, I actually don't think this expired yet. So it seems like it's allowing me to withdraw this already, but I don't think it should let me yet. But anyways, um, yeah. So you'll be able to see the person who has this offer to them will be able to see this NFT under this area here offered to me. So Tabea, uh, which is really cool. I didn't know Tabea uh, made this NFT. So I offered it. Uh, they'll be able to see it here. They'll be able to accept it. Um, and then it'll show up um, on their account as pulled 1.19 near. Uh, and Tabea is actually helps manage the Arraj Guild uh, in Lisbon, which is really cool. So that's a pretty cool connection, she, you know, local to Mint base as well. Um, and so for some of the local events that's been happening, I've set them as silent auctions when minting. Nice. So good to know that your auctions are live. Um, so, so, so the first event that's kind of been going on for the last little while is the green NFTs event. Um, so the team's been really busy putting together uh, a kind of a slew of artists. I think it's over 35 artists um, who are attached to this contract, maybe more at this point. Um, and they, they're all minting different NFTs at different prices. Some of them uh, for buy now pricing, as you can see by this hammer here, uh, this gavel. Uh, and some of them are by auction. And so you can offer uh, what prices you'd like to give uh, or you'd like to pay uh, or bid. Um, and so you can kind of see 50% uh, of all royalties and sale uh, goes to South Pole uh, to put towards carbon offsetting, some carbon neutral, uh, carbon offsetting projects. Um, and so that's kind of like a really cool way. And this is kind of new. I don't know why it's only on this NFT, but it seems like the team is testing something new out here. And so I'm not sure if you can see this on my screen. Um, so I'm sorry if you can't, um, but it'll actually display the NFT getting drawn. Let's see. That's not, it's not showing on my screen. Darn it. Okay. So even after a month, Oh, Rebecca, are you seeing it draw? Are you seeing this draw right now? Because I'm not not seeing it, sadly. But I'm seeing the NFT draw on my screen. So I'm gonna click this and put and put the link into the description so that you can see it yourself. Oh, there it is. You can actually see a bigger view of that. It'll actually pop out to a bigger view. So it seems like so if you're able to click that link, you can kind of go in and, and see uh, what it looks like. And I'll share the entire South Pole link store. I know it's something that's hard to find uh, certain stores. Uh, so if anyone wants to kind of come back in and see the full South Pole store, you can see it there. Uh, but it seems like this might be the way that this gets displayed in the future, which is pretty cool, uh, in my opinion. Maybe they'll update it and adapt it, but uh, pretty cool so far. Anyways, the Marmaj Foundation has their pieces uh, added, which is pretty cool. And so um people from all over the world artists from all different walks of life all over the world uh minted nfts on mint base on near um and 50 percent of the proceeds at least uh are going towards carbon offsetting and i know at this point in time it's a huge touchy subject um blockchains and uh you know uh, carbon footprint and uh you know energy usage um so regardless of stance i think it's always great to be able to uh, support and help where you can. Uh, so another uh, project that's been going on um, this week, it's been a busy week at Mintbase. It seems it always is these days. It's been a long run up. I'll drop the link for this too, um, the Vildiverse event. Um, so this is a physical and virtual event. Um, you've probably heard a lot about it so far. Um, and I know there's always links being dropped on the CreateBase Twitter about it. There's information about it on the CreateBase Telegram. Uh, but it's an, uh, you see right here, it's a hybrid NFT festival uh, held in about an hour from Berlin, from what I understand, from what I remember. <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not a Berlin native, so for, forgive me if I make any mistakes there. Um, but all these NFTs are minted for the festival. So there's one contract uh, that's going to have potentially hundreds, maybe potentially thousands of artists added to it uh, because anyone that attends the festival uh, can be added to this contract. Um, and also other artists are being added as well. 
And there's potentially up to 2,000 people coming to these uh, to this festival each weekend over the course of six weeks um, over the summer. And so people, every single participant will be getting a near account, they'll be getting near to open up their own store, and they'll be able to mint on this smart contract as well, um, which is super cool. So they'll be able to mint on this contract, make NFTs, uh, interact with each other, uh, so there's a variety of NFTs here. I mean, I, I feel like if I took the time to go into every single one, like I think this one got minted today and I think it's pretty funny. So I will dig into it. Um, so as you can see, it's kind of trippy a little bit. It's a, it's a guy drinking juice. Um, I kind of let you, inter you can interpret it as you wish for a bit. Uh, but as we dig into it and I'll, uh, I'll share a link to this one, um, but it's for two near, uh, right? And what it's for is, uh, a handsome young lad with a, a lot of swag sipping juice from his handbag. You may potentially redeem this token for a free soft drink of your choice in the future. Uh, so to me, I think it's pretty cool because I would hope, I would hope that this is a token that could be exchanged for a drink at the physical festival. And so this could be one mint of it, of course, if it goes well, this you know this artist could mint more of them, um, and you know, and so let's say I was like, okay, cool, I want I want to go to the festival, I want to I want to get uh, this soft drink from this uh, person, um, and I also want to see what else they've got for sale. Uh, first of all, I can follow them, and I, I do want to follow them. I do I do know the artist; they're in the Create Base uh, group as well. Um, <clears throat> and then you can see all the other stuff they've minted. So this says test. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it on your screen. So it does say test. So assuming this was a test mint, yes, it says test, test, it's black. Um, and then, so it looks like this is their first mint. So I might be like, okay, they, they're they coming to the festival. Um, I wanna follow them, see what's going on, keep following what they've minted and maybe see what other products they're gonna have available at the festival. Also, it's pretty cool and kind of a bit uh, maybe we should get some ability to turn this function off. But I know Twitter allowed this for a long time without any way to turn it off, but you could also see, see what this person's liked. So you can see no thing, nothing's liked yet from this person, um, but it's kind of interesting to go through the marketplace, in my opinion, uh, find some art that I think is kind of cool um, or see some artists that I kind of like and I bought their art and then go see what they've liked. Um, so, Let's see, this person I think would have some things that they've liked already on, on, the, on the piece. So I'll, I'll click into here, uh, dead. Yeah, so let's go to their liked post. So it's not showing nothing, but it's not showing what they've liked. Sad times, I kind of wanted to creep a little bit, but I guess, you know, creeping on, uh, on live, anyways. <laughs> Uh, but it's kind of fun to be able to go through and see what people have liked. And I think the idea, I mean, the idea for that to me is to be able to kind of, as a collector, I mean, I definitely consider myself more a collector than an artist. Um, I like to be able to see, like, to be able to support artists maybe that are in the same genre and spread my knowledge of what I like through that. Uh, creep away. Rebecca's like, creep away. Okay, well, since Rebecca gave me license to creep away, I'm going to see if I can creep on to there. Uh... Let's see, because is this Tabea? I think this is Tabea. Liked. Let's see if we get something. Ah, only the thing they've minted. Okay, we're getting somewhere though. We're getting somewhere. <laughs> yeah, let's show Tabea. I, I think I, I'm pretty sure this is Tabea. Let's see. If I go to smart contract, it'll be easier to see. Oh, multi. Maybe it's not. See, I'm just, or maybe it was, uh, yeah. By Randall's Fudge. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> oh, that's her DAO project. Okay. Okay. See, <laughs> if, and this is where it's fun because we can see how the project continues to add the social features. Um, hey, Vandal, how are you doing? Um, and, you know, feel free to come up on stage and chill if you'd like. Yeah, no worries, no worries. 
Uh, it's a holiday in Portugal, teams hanging out. Um, we'll probably end the session early. I kind of wanted to just show off a little bit of the Green NFTs project that's been going on, show off the Vildiverse project a little bit. Uh, might show, I'm, I'm right, actually currently right now, I'm trying to show off the creeping feature <laughs> uh, where you can go into an artist and then kind of purchase their art. But also, ooh, yeah, I do want to follow Elon. Okay. I, okay, there should be some like stuff here. Is this their own art as well? Or did we finally find a loop where we can, oh, see, okay. So you can't get through the loop yet. It was working previously uh, on testnet, actually, from what I remember. Um, but the loop will work once again soon. So at a, at a later um, AMA, I will get to that. Um, oh gosh, now I kind of want to buy this. See what's happening to me? So this is where uh, my fiance is like, no, don't do that. You know, we have other things to pay for. Anyways. Um, Vandal, if you'd love, if you'd like to come on stage, please feel free. Um, you can share an update of how NXM has done from the hackathon would be kind of cool. Um, I know there's been a lot of partnerships between NXM, the Graffiti DAO now getting started, uh, minting on Mintbase. Um, for, the, for the little quick uh, DAO records shill, um, we can go, I guess, to my own. Is this is this where I go? I think so. Hey, there it is. There it is. My little, uh, my little founders card, uh, rare beat number one. I think I picked up. Um, so I suggest everyone who's kind of into collecting um, digital assets and also kind of wants to peer at what's going on in the near crypto music space, uh, check out this rare Vandal pro. I'm gonna drop a link to this one at least. Uh, and oh, oh, and then you can do your own creeping. So there you go. There's a link. And then um, you can go to the artist right there. And I'm not sure if, oh, this this account isn't fun. This one, you, have, you know you have too many accounts. Um, so then you can check out what else has been minted by the artist. So there's actually multiple of these cards um, that have already been released. And Vandal, feel free to just like, ooh, see, thank you. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to click that link and open that too now. And feel free to like, oh, you got your hand up. See, there, you know what? I'm just gonna, this is the perfect transition um, I'm gonna hand the mic. I'm gonna stop talking for a bit. I'm gonna let you, if you'd like, you can share your screen. If you got, if you got hey the, everyone. To that, What's go up? for it. How's it going? All right. Doing well, doing well. So do you want to share your screen? I can drop mine. You can kind of start from sure. here, show the medium post. Yeah. That's I'm awesome. Not. Look at that. Yeah. Um, I don't know why I'm sharing yeah. your stuff. You're here now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me just see what you say now. What I should share here, tab. Okay, I'm going to share a tab. All right. I'm excited because I bought that card because I was excited, but I haven't had the time to even like dig even deeper. So this is like my like first real look. So go deep, Vandal. Go deep. All right. Can you can you guys see? It? I can yeah. see what you're sharing. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So um, the second rare beat is now on the loose. Uh, this one uh, represents success. So there are four pillars. Uh, to the uh, the project for each rare beat, so they each represent different things, and uh, the founder card essentially gives you twenty five percent forever royalty on the ten minted rare beats, plus one of the rare beat audio NFTs and five thousand rare Vandal tokens, which uh, now have liquidity on Ref Finance. I'm still like learning the uh, the ins and outs of of all of that and. Still trying to figure okay, out how to, okay. Look how to share go. the how, how to send the tokens and all, like you know, uh, the, through the CLI. I owe and, you and a learn. tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So and then um, you know, this just kind of gives you the details of the hunting party, which is going to be tomorrow, just before the IMT album launch. Um, and I've I've got like a little crypto voxels uh, scavenger hunt planned. So the nine rare beats that will be available will be hidden in crypto voxels and I'll be dropping hints. Um, I meant to say throughout the week, but you know, um, it's probably going to be from tomorrow onward over the weekend. So that's going to be the hunt. Oh, and then I got wearables in crypto voxels. Finally, uh, my minted wearables, um, I've got this rare vandal head. So the head hunter has captured the, one of the rare vandals and decapitated it. And the head is now on sale on open sea. 
<laughs> that is so wild. First of all, I do have to say, go check out the wearables because the wearables you and Gemini Rising had on at the event yeah. uh, the other day what have been, yeah, okay, was were amazing. Like, so I'm, I'm so glad wearables are back in the crypto voxels. And yeah. I've been needing a new head. I, I got um, one from uh, Burke the Camel. Jeez. Uh, uh -huh. I got a camel head from Burke. Uh, but I definitely need myself a new head, so I might have to check that out as well. So all right, and then we got a new drop as well from Jazzone. It's the first uh, oh, I did see that. the I did see first that. one from Jazzone who represents Southwest Cameroon, and I'm and I think he's the first Cameroonian artist to to drop a an audio NFT. So uh, that that's going on today. Just got dropped, and I can share the mint base. Please do, please oh, do. Let me just do it via the article. Uh, I love that we can actually have easier. like live drops going on, like yeah, right before calls, showing them off. Like yeah. we have multiple events per week. We so right. we have it here. Open sea heads available for 30, 30 near. Oh. Okay, for some reason it's not playing the audio. What these giving on? Ah, uh, there we go. It took a minute to load. Can you guys hear that? I can hear that. Oh, yeah. All right. So this is Party by Jazz Zone. See, Rebecca, I feel like this would be something you'd be dancing to. Okay. I won't spoil it for you guys, but yeah, that's the that's the <laughs> Party by Jazz Zone. You can, you can go oh, check it out. It. The Dow Records. Uh, hey, hey. Shop. Yeah. Awesome. And and let's go, let me go to our DAO. So we've got like a bunch of approved uh, projects here. Uh, this is uh, nxm DAO at Sputnik or dot Sputnik DAO dot near. Um, we're still, uh, most of these are ideation phase stuff. I'm not sure if and my screen's incorrect, but I don't see the DAO. I still see the Vandal. Oh, you do? Okay, maybe I need it to, to go over. Um, hang on. Let me. All right, I'm going to share a different different uh, screen. No worries, no worries. <laughs> um, or I can just talk about it. I can just do that. Fine. Do it out. Yeah. So um, I I think that there was a bit of confusion with um, with NXM in terms of thinking that everything needs to be done in time for uh, for the hackathon deadline, mm -hmm. and uh, you know we we still want members to contribute their projects and ideas. And we want to help support in as 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 much as we can. And we've got mm -hmm. the near, we've got the near yeah, the treasury yeah, yeah. to support. Um, yeah. So everyone who submitted uh, an ideation phase um, <clears throat> proposal to the DAO and have been approved, please do continue and and work on your proposals and get uh, like I, I've uh, made a bunch of suggestions for uh, for people in the community to. To kind of uh, develop um, their proposals a bit more in detail, uh, mm -hmm. so that we can get them uh, through the governance forum and then uh, into the DAO uh, for approval. So please do that if you're if you're part of the NXM uh, community here uh, watching this call. Yes. Then please do get your submissions in. We're waiting. We're waiting for you. Please do it. Um, we want to support yeah. you. And we've got um, the well. Tomorrow we've got uh, sort of a co um, a co partnership event with IMT uh, Intro to Music Theory, and they're lo they're launching a massive project. Like there's a, a bunch of um, different uh, you know partners involved. One is of course us Dow Records and Mint Base as well. They're they're minting on uh, Charge Particles is another one. Um, also Bit Trees. And I think they have a few more, but uh, tomorrow's going to be pretty fun. It starts at 9 a.m. Pacific time, um, and that's going to be right after the the rare vandal drop, uh, which is going to happen in my crypto voxels parcel, and then we're going to move into the playground, uh, which is where we're going to have uh, start the treasure hunt uh, and everything for for that, and then enjoy uh, all the various uh, parties and things that are happening with IMT. Um, also, we've got more drops coming up. Um, I think there's one from C1, which is uh, which is uh, Justin, Michael. I think Dede is also involved in that in Jazzone. 
Um, and they're, they're actually starting a project. C1 is, is meant to create a foundation to help support um, artists uh, throughout the continent in Africa and I think other other places that that um, you know need more support uh, to help uh, their creative endeavors and they're looking at uh, providing a percentage of the proceeds of each sale to go towards supporting various community initiatives uh, so I'm, I'm happy to announce that uh, I don't know if uh, Justin is is in the audience here but if he is, maybe he wants to talk about it. I'm not sure if he is or not. I do not, not think Justin is here okay. uh, currently. Uh, but yeah, it seems so like it seems like there's been a lot going on though with NXM over the hackathon. And I'm glad that you're making that crystal clear because part of the hackathon is, you know, what are DAOs doing next? Um, mm. So some DAOs are using their, are maybe, you know, shutting down. Some DAOs might be ramping up. Obviously NXM always kind of ramping up and going full speed ahead. Um, and some DAOs might be changing direction and figuring out what they're using their funds for. So uh, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm glad that's loud and clear that the Near Music Guild is clearly looking for, um, <clears throat> even if you missed out on the hackathon, you're like, what are you talking about? Uh, the links are still up. So createbase.community slash hackathon. Uh, if you don't know where to go, definitely go to NXM apparently. Uh, get that ideation in, uh, get your idea in and how you can support the music community at Near. Um, and I'm sure Vanda will be glad to look at your proposal and get you some support there. Um. Yeah, and, and there's also um, a couple other projects that, that we kicked off. One is TYGS, which is a Think awesome. You Got Skills battle. So this is a, a battle for beat makers. It's the first in our series. I'm going to sh just share a screen about that for everybody here. Um, so what we're doing is we're basically holding our event series that we've been doing since 2009 um, in the metaverse this year. And we've uh, partnered with some uh, wonderful people, as you already know, Mint Bass, Near, uh, and Dow Records. And we've got another partnership with Swagger Dow uh, to bring about some, um, some swag uh, for the beat meet. Uh, so we've already like announced this. The announcement came out the other day. Uh, our deadline for the beat making battle is the 18th of June. Uh, so you can get your submissions in by then. Uh, and we got some prizes here. We got some near and TYGS tokens uh, to give away as well. I want to shout out our judges, Prob Cause, uh, Cave and Mighty 33. Uh, so all this can be found at tygs.com uh, battles slash beat meet. And we've also set up uh, and a bunch of stuff for, for people to, to get um, to enter. And we've got an Audius account, so this is where we're going to have all the submissions being added to this playlist here. So far, we've got two submissions. Uh, so shout out to everybody um, who submitted. And lastly, I wanted to talk about uh, Graf Graffiti DAO, the Graffiti DAO, uh, which is uh, an initiative that we kicked off with a Malaysian graffiti crew. And we're going to be launching on the 10th of July as part of the Crypto Art Week Asia. And um, also I'll be doing a I'll be doing a panel as well for that, uh, which is on uh, music NFTs and uh, music in the blockchain. And so far I've confirmed Rare Skrilla and, and Mighty33 to speak on that panel. And we're still looking at uh, locking in the last uh, panelist. Uh, so I'll be moderating this time around. And uh, that should be a lot of fun. That's also going to be on the 10th uh, of July. So that's going to kick off Crypto Art Week Asia, which is a massive project. So if there's any like Asian artists out here, even if you're not an Asian artist, that's totally fine. If you want to contribute and, and you want to do something uh, for it, it's running from the 9th of July through to the 16th. And it's going to be a lot of fun. And I want to say that uh, my mom and I are also going to be coming out to Lisbon. We're going to be out there uh, around the 21st. If everything goes well, fingers crossed, uh, we're going to be there on the 21st of July. And then we're going to be headed to Vildemira uh, on the weekend of the 6th of August. So we're super excited to be getting out there. And hopefully, Chloe, if you're going to be sticking around uh, until later, uh, I don't know. You let you let us know if you are. Yeah, sadly it doesn't ahead. look like it. Sadly ah, doesn't okay. look like it. I know, um, but I'm very glad that you're going to be able to get out there, bringing the Canadian vibes uh, out to Vildemur and making sure that people are getting you know the tunes and the vibes and out there. Um, and Rebecca's comment in the in the chat, you know, 
Uh, if there's any support needed for the Graph DAO launch, or the Creative DAO is here. Um, always iterating that we're here to support what's going on uh, for the projects you got going on. And then so many projects going on. Um, as yeah, always, there's, where there's do you get lot. time to sleep? Vanley, you must. <laughs> like, no, I, I do. I, I, I do make sure I have a balance. So sometimes I'm a little slow on things. So I have to apologize for those who are listening in, in my, uh, you know, trying to keep everything organized. Um, I try my best, you know. Slow and, and steady, uh, though. Slow and yeah, steady. Yeah, this is fun. Juggling that many balls, slow and steady. And just exactly, slow and steady and have fun. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. We all kind of experience the same, you know, busy crypto move so fast. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, as Rebecca says, you're killing it. So definitely oh, uh, appreciate what you're doing in the space. Yeah, just just you know, to me, this is this has been um, sort of like a revitalization in a lot of ways, like this space and connecting again with community yeah. and building, and and it's something that I really enjoy doing. So, you know, I, I I don't complain about it to be honest. Like, I don't even think like there used to be a point in time where sleep was something where it's like I I didn't get it my eight hours of sleep. I'd be like, oh, you know, now I'm like, yeah, whatever, whatever. Yeah, it's good. It's always tomorrow. It's always tomorrow night. <laughs> Yeah. That cool. So I think that's uh, that's my update. So uh, thanks. For Thank you so much. Here. Appreciate and it. So we're going to kick you off that stage. Thank you right. so much. Always appreciate hearing what's going on with Vandal. There's always like Dow Record stuff, NXM stuff. There's, you know, now Graffiti Dow, TYGS, uh, Rare Vandal Beats. I mean, I just I can barely <laughs> keep track of just what you're doing, Vandal. Uh, never mind all the other things going on at NXM, and it sounds amazing. I'm so glad that we have like all this excitement happening, and it's actually you know getting built on chain, and people are able to you know uh, like you know even this like C1 giving out you know 30 percent uh, of profits, and they're able to actually you know create something, distribute those funds in an efficient way, and um, support their you know a local community or a community that they want to uh, support. Um, so anyone else have to come up on stage and share what they're working on, please feel free. Um, if not, we will be ending today's community call a bit early. Uh, today's call was mostly, you know, sharing what's been going on, making sure we have our, you know, bi-weekly pulse check uh, for the community so they know, you know, we got the Green NFTs project that's been going on with South Pole, uh, you know, giving back 50% of all proceeds, you know, to uh, carbon offsetting projects. Um, and they got the Vildiverse launch. Uh, well, that's going on for quite a while. Uh, so there'll be many more artists adding their NFTs to the store. Uh, and there'll be the more virtual events and more um, uh, in-world events, of course. Um, but th that's been you know, what I've been doing over the past couple of weeks. Uh, there was the Oren launch recently as well. And this, the, the, the Reva Taylor launch last week. Uh, I think that was last week, the two launches there. So uh, it's been a... It's been a <laughs> A packed couple of weeks uh, in the create-based, mint-based community, and I'm sure the next couple of weeks will be just as packed, it seems. Um, but I really appreciate uh, the people that came out to the call. The call will be also be up on the create-based YouTube channel. Um, so if you want to watch it back, we play it later, share it with your friends, the call will be there. <clears throat> um, it will take a few hours to get up. Uh, YouTube continually uh, pulls down our videos, I think. Uh, API issues. Um, so give it till tomorrow. That link will be shareable and I'll drop it in the create base chat for everybody. Um, so thank you everybody for coming out. Um, really appreciate it and have a wonderful rest of your days. Okay. Bye everybody. And thank you for coming up to the create base community call. <laughs>